Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for the second episode of the season for Once Upon a Time. So let's start talking about this episode. With this episode, we get to see some flashbacks, some present stuff. Uh, so what's going on in the present in Storybrooke is that that Emma is still the dark one, and you, you see exactly what that means. Uh, how dark exactly is she? Uh, so that's something we get to see in, in this episode. And how Regina and everybody is trying to figure out, alright, well, how did Emma become this way? Not really figuring out how to change her just yet, but figure out, alright, like, what, you know, what happened in Camelot? What did we miss? Uh, and throughout this, we get to see that the Furies kidnap uh, Robin Hood, and obviously Regina is very upset about this, and throughout this journey, she's figuring out, am I the savior? Do people trust me enough to, be to become the savior? I keep saying I am, uh, at least pretending to be it, uh, but can I truly be the savior to Emma, who is the true savior of the show? So it's very much an episode about Regina, uh, and once Robin Hood stolen, she she truly does become the savior because she's able to save Robin Hood, but with the help of her friends, not just for herself. And this shows that people are loyal enough and care enough about her to stand behind her and to help her as this new savior to save the real savior, which is Emma. So it's very much a journey of Regina more than Emma in this episode, uh, but you also get to see some background information on what happened in Camelot, at least a little bit of it. Uh, Regina pretending to be the savior to try to help Emma, and because she does this, she's outed as not being the savior and actually, and actually the evil queen. So Emma has to use her dark magic because Robin Hood gets stabbed and Regina's not able to use her magic on him. So Emma uses her dark magic and this gets her even closer to becoming the dark swan we know today in, in the present day, six weeks later. So I honestly really enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you check out my, my premiere episode review, I was actually a little scared about Dark Swan. I was like, oh, have they run out of ideas? Like, I don't know how to feel that she's completely evil. But the actress does a really good job at playing an evil character and obviously making us believe she's an evil character. And I think the flashbacks really help. Um, also, of course, the same uh, procedure, the same the same format we've been seeing with Once Upon a Time, but I think it works. I mean, it works for Once Upon a Time that we, we get to see the flashbacks, we get to see what, what's happening in the present, and they're all kind of combined. They're all parallel to each other, and it really helped for me to care about Dark Swan. So I guess that's that's definitely important, uh, and it, the flashbacks definitely helped, and hopefully the flashbacks will continue to help. But also what I liked about this episode is that it's really mostly about Regina and, and her... Um, redemption arc and I, I think this is this is gonna be more of a redemption arc arc for Regina than oh well Dark Swan you know Emma's evil I think this is definitely more of a Regina arc which I'm happy about because Regina is my favorite character and, and it does show how much Regina has grown um, especially in this episode and how much people care about her and this town cares about her and you know Regina sees herself and, and looks down on herself like oh how would anyone think that I'm the savior and I think there's a possibility that she's redeemed herself so much that she can become the savior uh, and kind of revert really revert um, the character that she used to be in season one. So I enjoyed this episode a lot. Um, I even, again, even though we get the same type of pattern of what we usually go with Once Upon a Time, I think it, it's a really cool character-driven episode. And if they continue on this path, uh, I think this could be an interesting arc, um, which I was worried about in episode one, but I'm more confident about in episode two. So also something I, I want to mention is I will 90% uh, be going to the Once Upon a Time uh, panel at New York Comic Con, and they will be showing an advanced uh, viewing of the next episode. So I'm going to try to get an advanced review up for that. Of course, I won't have spoilers for it, but I'll be able to tell you my opinion on the episode. So look forward to that. That should be up hopefully Friday night. So check that out. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. And uh, of course, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links from my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to check out the Kickstarter for Like Father, Like Daughter, Issue 2. And I will see you guys later. This is Comic You Know. Bye.